Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. We're looking at circular art, the workshop number five. Uh, we're going to start creating angles on a circle. And we're basically, I'm going to start teaching you how to use a protractor. Once again, you might have had some experience with this. I don't know. Okay, so wherever you're at, if you've used it before, you should be able to start moving along quickly. If not, let yourself struggle. Okay, this is this takes some practice, like all things worth learning. This will take some practice, okay? So what we're gonna do first is you should have a center line here and you're going for a center point here, okay? So you need to have a piece of paper with a center line that has a center point on it. Um, you've already gotten checked off with that skill if you're here. Now we're gonna create a circle um, that is three inches, that has a three inch radius, because okay? that'll work well with our protractor. So I'm gonna come here Here's my three inch radius. I'm gonna line it up. I'm starting to speed up a little just on the skills you've already worked on. So I'm centering that right on my center point, holding it down nice and hard. And then I've got three, uh, three inches radius. I'm coming back a little bit and I'm gonna go around this circle. Okay, I've got a pretty clean circle. And what we're gonna start doing is we're gonna start creating angles between lines for every one of these. This is gonna be our starting line from this point to this point. This line will be every, we're gonna measure off of this for every one because what we're doing is we're measuring a line that has, a, that has an angle measure Okay, from this line up, I'll start showing you what I mean, but every one of them is gonna use this line here as the starting line, okay? Starting line, or we call that um, the initial line, okay? So we're starting here, and what I need to do is I use this center line here. I'm gonna show you real close, okay? Because this can get confusing. Okay, what I wish sort of is that there was a line going all the way through to here. Okay, because there really is. What we're doing is we're going to line up our line with this line here, all the way through the center point and that line there, all the way through. And I've got this lined up now. Okay, as you can see my lines here, it's real faded, okay, but I'm right here. I'm lined up here, I'm lined up here, and I'm lined up here, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how these are counted off here. So this is our starting point, okay? If I was going to make a mark here at what this, what this is called 30 degrees, okay? 30 degrees, and here's another one at 60 degrees, and I'm gonna go to 90 degrees, okay? so. I marked it off here, this was 30 degrees. This is the degree symbol. It's another unit of measurement. Okay, 30 degrees. This was 60 degrees. This was 90 degrees. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to use the protractor like a ruler and I'm gonna create a line out to the edge going through, going through the mark I just made and the center point. Okay, so now I have a 30 degree angle and I can mark that right here, 30 degrees. Okay, and I could go through this. And now this guy would be 60 degrees. From here, this angle measures. I'm getting larger just so I'm not writing over the same point. That's 60 degrees. And if I wanted to split this guy into quarters, what I would do is I would start with the right angle, which is 90 degrees, okay? So this whole thing from here to here would be 90 degrees. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna be splitting the circle into different points here. Now, 
one thing to realize is that going from right to left it's counted on the inside here. So you can see I'm at 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 40 degrees. But if I didn't want it to be exactly on the 10, if I wanted to say 45 degrees, then I'd have to come up here and count one, two, three, four, five degrees. That would be 45 degrees, okay? The, uh, on the outside, it's going left to right. So I could come this way and count along the outside, okay? But if I'm going right to left, I'm counting on the inside numbers. And you can see I'd be at 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Where over here I'd be at 0 on the outside, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So if, I, if I'm not going to be perfectly on 40 degrees or 50 degrees, I need to go 40 degrees, come to the outside, and go click up. So this time I'm going to make an angle that is 100 and... We'll go with 133 degrees to get you checked off here. Okay, I'm relining this up. Okay, I'm going, I want the angle that's going this way. Okay, I want the angle that is going this way. So I'm going to come on the inside. I'm going to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. Then I want 133 degrees, so I'm going to come up here, slowly go up here. There's 130, but there's 132, 132, what, sorry, 131, 132, and 133 will give me over here. So if I made a line, okay, and I don't want this to get too jumbled up. But I can come over here and this angle right here is a much larger. It would be 130 degrees, 33 degrees. Okay? So we're just starting to dive into this, but halfway around the circle, if I counted that, halfway around I go 10, there's 60, there's 110, 120. <coughs> we got 150, 160, 170. Halfway around the circle is 180 degrees, and hopefully you remember at this point, all the way around the circle would be that 180 times 2, or 360 degrees. And where does that number come from, 360 degrees? Well, it actually comes from, I believe it's ancient Egypt, and they actually thought the year, instead of the 165 days of a year that we think, that we know we have, 165 and a quarter, which is why we have leap year, they thought there was a 306, am I saying 165? 365. They thought there was 360 days of the year. So it took 360 degrees or days to start a brand new year. So they made the measurement all the way around the circle, 360. Okay, it really works well with a lot of numbers that we're gonna work with, but that's sort of the idea, okay? So a quarter of the circle would be 90 degrees, halfway around would be two, uh, 180. If you kept going, this would be 270, and to finish off the circle would be 360. Okay, so to get signed off, you need to make an angle that is 133 degrees. I might send you back for more, okay? And also the 30, the 60, and the 90 degree. All right, good luck.